Hey loves and welcome to Virgo's High. This is going to be a general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mercury placements. We are going to look into your energy and see what spirit has for you today. Get you a daily affirmation and close it on out with messages from the person that has you on their mind the most. All right, Taurus. So I like to randomly pop up and show you know, who you're receiving these messages from. I don't really care too much about, uh, you know, presenting myself too much because I feel the message is the most important thing to you guys. So um, today I felt a little different. <laughs> All right. So anywho, we're going to go ahead and start your reading with an affirmation. Let's see what the most important message is for you guys for today, Taurus, whenever you click on this reading, um, general, this is general, so please take only what applies to you and leave the rest. We got judgment that flew, I mean, it flew out, okay? <laughs> so let's see. Judgment, we're gonna repeat this mantra or this affirmation three times okay to really activate the energy we have hello essence i invite you to show up every day i invite my soul to shine unapologetically period point blank all right that's the judgment energy number 20 what's popping for 20 <laughs> all right so that is your energy taurus um your main energy or the main message that you would need to hear for the day. So with that being said, I feel that you guys could be making a judgment call on something. You could be feeling that, you know, enough is enough is what I'm feeling and hearing at this point. Enough is enough and you're not apologizing for it anymore. You've made a decision. It is your decision, and it is what it is. <laughs> so that's the energy that I'm picking up with that judgment card for you guys, Taurus. And um, I'm hearing rightfully so, rightfully so. Whatever you've decided to do, whatever decision you've decided to make, that's on you, and that is for you. I'm sure that you've considered all levels of whatever you're, you know, dealing with. I'm pretty sure that you've considered the pros, the cons. You've really weighed your options on this. So um, whoever doesn't like it, they can suck it. <laughs> All right, Taurus. So let's get some urgent messages from Spirit using the Light Seekers Tarot. All right, right away. As you see the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles always reminds me of you guys, Taurus. I feel like you're so independent. You're so knowing knowledgeable of like you know what you want for yourself what you want for your life and a lot of other people may not understand it you know i'm hearing parents just don't understand <laughs> so yeah a lot of people they don't understand why you do the things that you do how what who what where when why i had ass but it's not for them to get it towards you know you call the shots i feel like you get this lifetime to decide how you want to do it how you want to you know live it um what you want to be inspired by the job you want to work for you know what i'm saying or if you want to be an entrepreneur whatever you decide it's on you this is your decision and i feel like no one could tell you what to do at this point in your life so you're very clear you're making a judgment call for your life for yourself you're not concerned about what other people think how they feel about it none of that you're not like self-centered and you know i'm not picking up like asshole vibes it's just like you know hey i'm doing me do you <laughs> and so we have here the knight of pentacles coming out first so i feel spirit is asking you to take your time take your time and again it's like you know whatever you're setting up right now for yourself, whatever you're doing for yourself right now, it's really going to benefit you. So make sure that you are taking your time and you're truly enjoying the process. You're enjoying every, every freaking, you know, I'm hearing molecule, but every step of the way, every part of the journey, no matter how trying, no matter how, you know, perfect, no matter what it is, don't get too caught up in one particular part of the journey. Enjoy you know, the process and understand that, you know, more is coming, more is coming. Um, everything is working to create a bigger, you know, or accomplish a bigger goal. All right. So 
some of you guys may find that you have your favorite part or your favorite, you know, person, your favorite this, your favorite that. And I feel that spirit is asking you not to become too attached to any one thing. With the Knight of Pentacles, it makes me think of like um solid foundation because this Knight of Pentacles is taking its time to, you know, solely but surely get to its goal. And so if you become too frantic about one particular part what there's like i'm getting more so excitement you know uh, more than like being down and out about some shit i don't see you guys being down and out about anything right now i feel you're more excited about certain things that come up the spirit is saying even that expect more expect more because you are deserving of more of that like that's just the the bottom of the totem and you don't even realize it all right so if there are certain things that are popping up in your life that seem so exciting like oh i just want to hold on to this forever understand that it's just a part of your journey and you have more to look forward to all right so don't get too caught up in the the moment of things appreciate your journey yes um embrace your journey and embrace everything that's coming towards you but don't ever get stuck or stagnant in any one particular energy okay make sure that you are allowing more to come through to you release limitations release any limitations even if these are belief systems or anything you've placed upon yourself like you know um once you've accomplished a particular goal like that's it that's done with no you still have more to look forward to so make sure that you're not limiting yourself okay the knight of pentacles is very slow like very chill real like you know cool i don't got nothing to worry about type of energy so make sure that you're embracing every step of the way but that you're also staying optimistic about what's to come okay <sighs> all right Taurus. what else we got for you guys i'm gonna always show y'all love the most and first and foremost because y'all show me love and so i appreciate that i just want y'all to know that queen of swords all right beautiful energy i always love the queen of swords she reminds me of your sister sign scorpio <laughs> but queen of swords is here and so some of you guys could be very logical at this point very head over heart at this point of your life um we have also the eight of cups reverse see that do you see that though the eight of cups reverse of the eight of cups of upright is about walking away from something knowing that you know okay that there's there has to be more for me there has to be something else like you know in store for me with it being in reverse it's kind of like is it though is this it maybe this is it maybe it's, this is where i need to sit still this is where i need to stay this is you know where i should leave things Spirit is telling you no. Be very, very clear. Okay, with the Queen of Swords being here. Be very, very clear. We could have gotten any other queen. And any other queen would represent like, you know, that kind of momentarily excitement or emotion or, you know, stability. The Queen of Swords is be very clear. This is the only queen that's kind of like, fuck all that. You know, fuck all that other shit. Let's be very clear about what it is we're we're expecting here. We have a bigger goal to accomplish. So again, eight of cups reverse. Don't get too stuck in concerning yourself with what's happening right here and right now. Yes, be present. Yes, be present. Enjoy and embrace your present moment. But do not see it as your end all be all is what spirit is saying. I have so much in store for you. I have so much to offer you. I have stability, long-term, passive income, all types of shit to offer you. Opportunities of abundance are flowing to you easily at this point, Taurus. I have so much. You don't even know. I have so much to give you. So don't become so stuck in thinking that this is it. Yes, it may be big. It may feel like, whoa, I didn't expect this to ever happen to me yet. But this is what I'm setting up for you, Taurus, is what Spirit is wanting you to understand. Like, expect more of this. Expect more abundance. Expect more, you know, rewards. Because you deserve it. You deserve it. Don't start tricking yourself into thinking like, this must be the, the best thing that's ever going to happen to me all my life. Bullshit. It may be the best thing that ever happened to you today. <laughs> but I have more to give you is what spirit wants you to know. So don't get caught up or stuck in any one thing because there's so much more. You're deserving of so much more. And please just, just know that. Know that. Certify that. Claim that. You are deserving of so much more and you are receiving everything that you desire, Taurus. Period. Point blank. 
you're like, damn, I just found a hundred dollars. And you probably think that is it. You fuck around, keep on. Stay in that optimistic energy. You'll continue to find things that make you happy. You'll continue, continue to find things that really bring you joy, that make you feel like, wow, I've really done something. Yes, you've been doing a lot of work on yourself, a lot of shadow work. And that's the reason you're receiving all these rewards. So don't start tricking yourself into thinking like, this is it. Okay, I, I got something big today. That's it. That's it for me. No, it's not it. You got a lot of shit coming in for you, okay? It's like abundance after abundance, reward after reward. Claim it. Claim it. All right? Let that guard down. Let that guard down. Receive it. Don't start doubting it. Don't start, you know, accepting any type of mentality that's going to tell you that this is it. It is not. <laughs> it is not. Look, four cups. And so you can be just like, you know, no, it's not going to happen for me. Yes, it is. Let the guard down. Let your guard down. Be very be very particular is what I'm hearing, you know, about yourself. Really sit and let it marinate. Like, what do you want? What do you truly want? You don't ever have to settle for anything less than what you truly want and what you truly desire. It is coming your way. You have to see it first. And sometimes it's, it's difficult to put yourself in a mind frame, especially if you've been conditioned to think a certain way or believe a certain thing, or, you know, if others have projected their beliefs onto you and tell you that you have to get to this level first and all that bullshit. No, I feel that if you condition your mind to receive all it is that you desire, you will receive it. You have to first do that, and it may sound like it's no big fucking deal. Like, if that's the case, and everybody have whatever fuck they want, no, because a lot of times people are really held bound by their mind. But once you transition that, once you change your mind, once you tell your mind what to believe and what to feel, what to receive, then your mind starts to get in alignment with that. Okay, but it takes a lot of conditioning. It takes a lot of control. Like, you have to really control your own mind and it release anything that anyone else has taught you or any belief systems that have limited your, you know, desires, things of that nature. You have to condition your mind. It's just like working out. So if you're constantly telling yourself daily affirmations, if you are, you know, I would say to even exercise, Something about exercising will bring out, you know, certain endorphins. It will really release certain things that are possibly blocking you and it will kind of refresh your mind. And then whatever you fuel your mind with at that time, it may actually start to pick up on the habit of receiving that. All right. So while you're working out, you could start to do your mantras and start to do your affirmations and your mind will be conditioned just like your body starts to get conditioned with working out. Your mind starts to get conditioned of what you're telling it, what you're feeding it, possibly 30 minutes after, you know, you, you burn out certain things, you release certain energies. Your mind and your body is ready to receive at this point. This is where all your nutrients start to really like, you know, form. So about 30 minutes after your workout mantras, affirmations, whatever you want your body and your mind to receive, that's the time to do it. And so I feel that at this point, you guys are unlimited. You're unlimited. And Spirit just wants you to know that. Don't place any limitation on, on yourself at this time because you can have, truly have, whatever it is that you desire if you convince yourself so. Okay, it's like only so much other people can tell you, but you can have it. You can have it once you condition your mind to understand like, hey, we working together. And I said, this is what we deserve. This is what we desire. We going to get that. We going to get that. It's already ours. It's already ours. So you have to see it. You have to see it before, you know, you receive it. All right. Let's see some messages, Taurus, <laughs> from the person that has you on their mind okay hope i lose y'all <laughs> on that one because sometimes it could just sound like man eh, blah 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 but it's so true it's so true you start telling yourself i deserve this i deserve this it's mine already i already know i already saw it i already saw myself celebrating that i already saw myself there i already saw myself receiving that love that receiving that a bless that blessing receiving that abundance receiving that job receiving that career receiving whatever it is that you want 
once you see yourself receiving it, your mind starts to catch up. Okay, so you have to condition it. You have to tell your mind, it's like you have to raise your mind after being conditioned to believe certain things all your life from you know childhood or you know experiences whatever the case may be you have to take control of your own mind okay let's see messages from a person that has you on their mind the most <laughs> I'd rather be with you. Someone wants to be with you. All right. So some of you guys could um, have someone that is currently in a situation or dynamic and they're just completely dissatisfied. They're unhappy. They want to be with you. They know they want to be with you. They've been lying to themselves is what I'm picking up. I'm being reminded of the last friend. And I think we said that you guys had like a friend or someone in your energy that has been lying to themselves about what they truly want. They want you. They want you, but for whatever reason, they have been limiting themselves into thinking that either they don't deserve you or they cannot have you or you are going to reject them, whatever the case may be. You could be even waiting for this person to come forward and just speak up their, you know, say their truth and speak their mind. But it's like, you know, you're not going to force it. You know, it's kind of just like, hey, whatever they say, whatever they do, they're going to do it. They're going to have to do it on their own okay you're not going to create some type of miracle for this person so they're going to have to be honest with themselves and do the work whether on themselves or you know just be courageous enough to step up and say what it is that they feel this person they want to be with you they want to be with you i feel like they're they're in love with you but they're in a relationship with someone else they're dealing with someone else and um I also feel the person they're dealing with, they know, they know that the, their person is truly in love with you, all right? So that could be creating some obstacles in this connection that they're having, but this person, they're too afraid to speak up for whatever reason. That's the, those are those limitations right there. They know they want you, but they are lying to themselves. So <laughs> it's like, so they're just going throughout their life. Missing out on the blessing of you, Taurus, because they don't want to be courageous enough to let you know how they feel. Afraid. They're too afraid. Shit is trash. The relationship they're in right now is horrible. They know it. They know it. And they're limiting themselves. They're sticking through it. They're sticking through it because they're afraid that if they tell you how they feel, that's going to be the end of whatever type of dynamic you guys have. They, this person, they're, they're never going to be fully satisfied with anybody they deal with because they know deep down inside they want you they want you they're looking for you who says that i've been looking for love in all of the wrong places finally i found someone who cares for me some shit like that this person they're constantly looking for you and everyone else even though they know you are the one that they truly want to be with it's sad it's sad that people would like they'll go their whole life's whole lifetime you know being with someone else knowing that they truly truly want to be with you they're afraid of you they're intimidated by you like you know if you reject them that'll really fuck them up that's how this person is you moved on already someone is afraid that they can't deal with you or they can't be with you because you could possibly be in a connection yourself all right, so someone can be watching you and believing that, you know, they don't have a chance with you because they feel you've already moved on. You already like, you know, maybe there was a point in time when you and this person kind of played around and talked up, talked about the idea of you and them being together. And um, this person, they didn't, again, they, they weren't courageous enough to let you know, like, hey, well, I want to shoot my shot. When you were giving them kind of the open door, like, hey, there's a possibility I would fuck with you like that. This person, they still didn't jump on board. And so since they've taken their time, they've waited so long, I feel that you've possibly moved on and you've possibly, you know, either moved on from the idea of being with them, moved on from the idea of having anything romantic with them, whatever the case may be. You could friend zone this person, whatever it is, they, they feel like it's an automatic rejection. Like, they feel like if, if they were to confront this situation and say something to you about, like, I want to be with you, they feel like it would just be like, 
off the wall like they cannot have you this person genuinely believes that they cannot be with you whether because you're uh, with someone else you've moved on or they're with someone else and they'd rather be with you okay <sighs> it's just like <laughs> i'm hearing y'all get your shit together <laughs> get it together look at this the stress living life so fast yeah, you guys could be dealing with someone who is just like, you know, I'm uh, living life so fast. Energy always reminds me of a hustler, all right? They don't like to sit still in any one particular position, job, anything like that. This person, they're like quick with it. They lose interest very easily. Um, and so they, they could, again, be trying to find you and other people be trying to compensate their time with other things in their life. Like, oh, I'm just so busy. I'm just going to keep on working my fucking you know, ass off until I can stop thinking about Taurus. They're never going to stop thinking about you. They're never going to stop thinking about you because they're not being real with themselves. And that's, it's just as simple as that until they face the truth, which is they want Taurus. They want you. They love you. They miss you, whatever the case may be, until they, you know, really accept the truth for what it is. They are going to continue to either look for you in other relationships or continue to burn themselves out because they're trying to get you out of their mind. And they cannot. I just can't get you out of my head. But your loving is all I think about. This person is child. They need to just be honest. <laughs> you might even fuck with it. <laughs> I feel like this person, they may be, um, I just heard one night stand. So maybe you guys fooled around a little bit or, or they know what you're working with. They know what you're working with because of the type of like connection you guys have. They know what you're working with towards. <laughs> and they um they really want that. They really, really want that. They feel like, you know, that could be the reason why there's no one else that compares to you. Okay. There's something that you provide to them that makes them feel like you're the big dog you're the boss you're the one like they don't care about these little minions is what i'm hearing this person views you as you know they they kind of put you on a pedestal which is kind of sad uh sad when you think of it towards that means that they don't really think too highly of themselves but at the same time it's like you provided this person with some type of honesty some type of level of truth some type of you made them feel that you are their dream come true. And I feel like they've now come to a space. We got big, big ball with the bumper, you know? And so it's like, you're a provider, you're passionate, you're a good lover. Okay, so you give this person more than enough is when I'm picking up with that energy. And, you know, when they deal with other people, it's like they're not even getting close to what you provide to them. And so that is the reason why they're like, man, I'm I'm out here looking for crumbs in Taurus is a full course meal. Why am I lying to myself? Yeah, this person there, they're sad. We gonna get one more and we gonna close it off this so sad ass energy. Like, you know, it's only so much you can do. I feel like you left the door open, Bruno Mars. You held the door open for a little while. You let, let this person like kind of, you know, you gave them room to create an opportunity between you guys. And I feel like they kind of, uh, even then were too afraid to be honest about what they wanted. Oh, look at this. <laughs> no strings. Yeah, I think that they took too long. This person may have taken too long. And I'm I'm sad for them. I'm sad for them, Taurus, because I feel that now you're focused on you. Now you're focused on you, what you want, your legacy, what you want in your life. And you're kind of just like, I'm not tied to nobody that's indecisive. I don't want to be, I, I don't want shit to do with nobody. I don't know what the fuck they want and can't speak up. And they all afraid and, oh, they'd rather be with me. But where they at? <laughs> Where they at, though? You're probably just like, I want somebody that's assertive, that's sure, that knows exactly what the fuck they want and will have no problem saying it. And since this person is not given that, I feel like they just may miss out. They may miss out, Taurus. They may miss out. I feel like you're going to move forward alone because you feel like if I can't fuck with any fucking body else, I, I know for sure I could fuck with me. 
I can deal with me. I'm not gonna bullshit myself, that's for sure. So you're kind of just like, I don't got time for nobody indecisive. I don't got time for somebody who does not know what the fuck they want. And I get it. I get it, Taurus, but I'm sad for this person. I'm sad for this person because they're nuts about you. They're crazy about you, but they, they're they too cowardly is what I'm getting. Like, you know, not to be harsh, but they're too timid. They're too afraid. It's like they're too afraid. It's, they, they feel you're out of their league. They feel like you're going to reject them. They feel like there's other things out there that, you know, could beat them out or whatever the case may be. So they're doing this to themselves. What they believe is what it is. Just like we were talking about earlier, what you believe is what you receive. Whether they believe that you, you know, there's others out there that are better for you than them. They believe that they're going to be rejected by you. They believe all this other bullshit. And that is the reason why that's the reality at this point. And so you're detached. You're detached from this individual. And it's probably going to stay that way because they don't have the boss to just go out there and say, fuck this shit, Taurus. I want you. I want you and I need you and I'm gonna have you like they they're not gonna do it they're not gonna do it so it is what it is <laughs> I love you guys I hope it helps and I'll see you next time